If you ask 20 model railroaders how they clean their tracks, you're most likely going to get 20 different answers. Well, right here, you're going to hear my answer. Hi everybody, I'm Tom Kovichak, and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing their dream of building a model railroad. I would like to give a very big thank you to everyone at YouTube Model Builders at the Hangouts for all the recognition that they've been given me and also the, the November EMAG where they included me in their pick three. So thank you very much. It really means a lot to me. I appreciate it. Bye -bye. In a recent comment, Sparky107107 stated, okay, show us how to clean the tracks. So many ways to do that. Well, this is what we're going to do right now. I'm going to show you how I clean my tracks. There are a number of different uh, items that you could use to uh, clean your track. I've been using for years... Um, Bright Boys uh, erasers, they call them track cleaners. There's a number of different names for them. Here's one right here. Here's another one right here. And here's yet another one. And recently, I would say up about, oh, about a year, maybe two years ago, is when they, I think they first came out, I purchased the, uh, the Tidy Track. And let me get the handle over here. Here's the handle for it. It's made by Woodland Scenics. And what's so good about this is you have a little attachment for it. And you have these little cleaning pads. And what they suggest on these, you, you, get, uh, you get these felt pads here. And they call these uh, the cleaning pads, and these two these uh, two different kinds right here they call the maintenance pads. And this one right here is what you clean the track with. Now they recommend that you use their track cleaner, and what you do is just put a put a drop on each corner of it. And then just go along your track, like over here, and rub it like that. All right, once you're finished with that, you take the white ones. And what this does is any residue that's on the track. Let me get this on here. Let me turn this over that way. Wouldn't you know it that when I'm doing this, I can't get the thing on there. <laughs> okay, but anyway, the white ones. And what that does, it just cleans off the residue of the liquid that you use. Now, here's the one side. And they say that you could uh, use this cleaner also. Just soak this down with it and uh, rub it off and... Um, let it dry out and it will uh, it will clean the pads up for you. Okay, what I normally do is I use these pads right here. And these are your uh, maintenance pads. And they have the grooves in it so it'll fit just along the track. Now, I found these to be sufficient for my tracks. These ones here, and they call these the, uh, oh, I can't remember what they call that. But uh, they recommend just using these ones right here every uh, six months or so. Those are the uh, rescue cleaners, and these are your maintenance cleaners right here. They suggest once a month for these. But what I normally do is when I want to, run my trains on there. I'll just go over it like this. And that, and for me, that's been enough uh, 
to get the cl tracks clean. Now, sometimes whenever I'm doing some scenery and I'll use uh, hairspray or something and I'll, you know, and, and, and I try to keep my tracks covered when I do it, but sometimes you get some uh, hairspray residue or even uh, glue on there or even um, some uh, uh, landscaping material. And what I do with that is I use these uh, rescue pads right here and they come off really good but I put it on the little handle here. Also use the uh, the bright boys here. And, and one other thing is whenever and they recommend turning this thing over here whenever you're doing like a uh, grade crossing or a turnout so you don't get into the uh, into the points and uh, and uh, into the uh, the guides the ra uh, the rail guides to turn it over like that but what I normally do and I've done this for years and you could tell on on here I've wore worn out a uh, groove in here and what I do is on my turnouts I'll put it on its edge and go like this and so where you have the guide rail right next to there you know it, it gets down in there they have a handle for this also and you could put it on there like that and they have like a little notch in there where you could set this at detent and uh, just go along the track. Let me turn these over so you can see it. But when you use this, it rides along the track. And I'll take it out of the uh, out of the notch so this this can rotate like this. And so if you're doing around uh, on a curve or anything like that, I mean, and even if you're over on this end here, you could uh, you could run this over like that. And they tell you not you don't have to use a lot of pressure, and uh, and I found you know you really don't have to use a lot of pressure on it to 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 keep your tracks clean. There are a number of different cleaners that you could use. Now Woodland Scenics, of course, has their own own cleaner for the uh, the felt pads, and then there's the the rail zip that you could use. I've used. Uh, CRC 226 and it leaves a little film on there so you have to go over the uh, track after that. I've also used the, the CRC uh, CO contact cleaner and, and that one's in um, I use that more often. I've been using that for years uh, cleaning the contacts on motor starters at work but uh, it's in the it's in the normal you know CRC uh, normal cans are like red and white and it's called C CRC CO contact cleaner and it dries instantly once you get it on there's been people that use uh, transmission fluid they use alcohol and all that's fine but I, I see no need for that I've never had a problem with my tracks other than using a bright boy or the the tidy tracks now I'm going to move the camera a little bit so I could uh, show you uh, going into a, a, a tunnel and into uh, and doing a, a turnout on it. Whenever you're doing your track, you're going to be using it on this side, so I'll just show it like right here. Doing it on the track. Now when you come up to the come up to the turnout, I'm going to turn these things over right here. Okay, so here's the other side of it. So you just go over like that. I'm going to put this in the little notch so it stays in place. But you just go over your turnouts like that with the solid side, so it doesn't so it doesn't get caught in your in your points and in your uh, frog or in the guide rails. But that's all there is to it on doing your turnouts, and then if I, and if you have a a, uh, a a crossing, you could do it that way. Also, I have a crossing over there, but I can't get to it right now. From, but um, 
I'm going to turn it back over okay they have a handle you just stick it in there Let me turn it around this way and it just fits in there like that well I might have put it in backwards okay put it in this way and you can use it at different angles and then this pivots right here but I'll put it in in the detent and you can just go in your in your tunnel like that and if you need a longer reach like I showed in one one of my other videos you could use the uh, let me see if I can get that three quarter inch CPVC and then this just fits right in there and I'm going to take it out because out of the detent position because it goes around the corner so you just go in there like that and as far as you can go and if you know there's areas that I can't reach uh, you know with the uh, with the pole and the, and the extended arm on it all I'll do is I'll just go underneath my layout and just take this take this off and then just use it like that Woodland Scenics has uh, several instructional videos on their website that you could uh, see they they show how to use their products on it and how, you know who better than them can tell you how to do it but this is just my version of it I use this and I also I also use the bright boy but that's my demonstration of doing the track cleaning um, I don't use a lot of uh, liquids on it um, I found that it's really not that not that necessary. If your tracks get real, that dirty that you really need them, go ahead and use them. But uh, my tracks haven't gotten that dirty. You know, even though you know the, there's periods when I haven't haven't run trains on it for maybe four to six weeks, and all I just do is just go over them with the Bright Boy or the Tidy Track, and um, a few times run the trains through and we're good to go sometimes on the um, on the on the switches on the turnouts it gets a little build up around the frogs and you just uh, clean them a little bit better and uh, turn it over on the other side or just use your uh, bright boy and go over on your frog on your guardrail and I've never had any problems with the points, but you know, on the other one, I use you know, I have I have it worn out more. But you know, I just go over on the points of the uh, turnout like that, and it seems to be uh, sufficient to uh, clean them. So there you go. That was method number twenty-one of track cleaning. Now, if you're going to use any kind of aerosol can, make sure you use caution while you're using it. First of all, make sure it's plastic safe. And also, all aerosol cans are flammable. So make sure you don't have any energized circuits on your layout when you're using it. Or even that, don't be smoking around it either. Even if you're using a little uh, supplied nozzle on it, and you're just dabbing, you know, dabbing in a little bit on on a piece of felt or on a, on a cloth, make sure you you're not using it around any energized circuits. All right, so don't forget to comment down below. Don't forget to like, give it a thumbs up, share the video, tell your friends about it. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you could build your skills and build on your dream, learn different techniques, and most of all, have a good time doing it. So 
We'll see you, and have a good day, and happy model railroading.